The young reporters had the chance to visit the Court of Arbitration for Sports in Lausanne and get to know more about its role and influence in the sports world. Uh, it's the first opportunity for us to explain our activity, uh, to show that so the CAS is uh, equipped to solve uh, disputes in sports internationally and also nationally. And uh, it's also an opportunity for me to explain uh, how it is structured, how it operates uh, throughout the days. And uh, also to rep repeat that CAS is an independent court, it's uh, outside from uh, sports federations, it's outside from the International Olympic Committee or the World Anti-Doping Agency. So we are the last instance in the world uh, able to solve uh, sports-related disputes. Mr. Matteo Rieb, the General Secretary of CAS, presented a hint of the court history which was started in the year 1984 when the CAS was created as the first international supreme court of sports with one single forum. Uh, I don't know if we have done enough, but at least I think uh, we, uh, we answered the need uh, in sports because there was uh, no specific uh, tribunal able, especially uh, specialized to solve uh, sports-related disputes. So rather than having all these cases going to the civil courts where the procedure could last uh, for, for many years with different appeals possible, here uh, it's more direct, uh, the procedure is uh, shorter, and uh, the, the only appeal possible is before the Swiss Federal Tribunal. This court has been handling over 3,000 cases since it was established and it has two arbitration divisions gaining lots of advantages. We have some ch uh, big challenges in doping issues, especially when it's more scientific than legal. So we had also to have the participation of uh, experts at hearings. Like, for example, for the first cases of uh, the biological passport, where we had to validate the method of detection. The CAS visit was a remarkable experience for the young reporters, but it won't be the last in their journey in Lausanne. Sheikha Shalan for AIBS Media, Lausanne.